Welcome to Scummer say. Party. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, welcome to Scummer Party. It's let's all say it at the same time. It's, it's a, a movie. movie. It's a so sweet snack. little snack. It's a podcast it's a little for story fucking for ears. you guys. To, and, and at the end, at the end we, we vote, vote one, one unlucky motherfucker out the door, door with his ass and his hands and vice ass. versa. Perfect. Uh, yeah, we nailed it. Nailed it. Just like we practiced. Just like we practiced. Yeah. Um, but I think you guys, I mean, we just explained it pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. And wait a minute. What month is it? June bug. Yeah, when this comes out, who knows if that's true. Yeah, but who knows if we still have a country at that point. Who knows if we still have a goddamn podcast at that point. Yeah, Danny if we start. still have a fucking podcast or a country at that point. Jesus Christ. You can't have hey, one without the other. I was about to say well, the exact said fucking it thing. First. I was about to say the exact thing. Uh, why are you holding your mic like a doo-wop singer from the... Because <laughs> I'm Why are you holding your mic like Little Richard over there? Okay. That was pretty good. Um, okay, Danny. Here's good a question. Job. He said a doom bop doom boom boom If it comes down to it, boom. if we need to do this, and movies have told us we need to do this, and I'm not sure it'll, that moment will ever come. You guys eating bugs? No. Yeah. You're eating bugs? I think they look tasty in like movies and stuff. Remember Lion King when they Snow ate the Pier. bugs? No. The, Lion King's the tastiest it's ever been. I went and put so many bugs in my mouth after watching that movie. I wanted but to Snow eat Pier like a gusher after that, but not, but not a bug. Oh, yeah. That's mean. I'm a vegetarian. That's true. You wouldn't do it. Yeah. If we're living in, you know, Bong Chan, what's his name? Bong Joon Ho's universe. Yeah. I don't want to eat bugs. If we're no. living in, you know, the uh, Lion King. Rich Eich- <laughs> Eichner. And yeah, Rich Eichner isn't he the Disney guy? Oh, maybe. Yeah, Sean Lasseter, Ricky Eichner. What's that? Bob Iger. Bob Iger. Yeah, yeah. Who's Rich Eichner? He's a he's actually a graphic novelist. Yeah, yeah. That probably a lot of people haven't heard of, but I have read a couple of his works lately. Is that? Uh, did he do Bone? No, he didn't do Bone. He did one called The Cowboy Wally Show. That's his big one. Maybe that's his big one. Maybe one person. I, <laughs> look, man, you asked. Okay, <laughs> I didn't have. I, didn't, I wasn't like trying to go off on a whole graphic novel section, but we can start incorporating that. You said you've been really into graphic novels. Like, I have, but not any of the nerdy ones. I'm like, f- the like cool the cool ones. fucking alternative yeah, ones for cool dudes mm-hmm. who get laid and stuff. Oh, mm-hmm. the cool ones for yeah, guys yeah. Could get laid. Yeah, I don't yeah. think Danny's read any of those. I haven't. No. <laughs> yeah, you like your little which one, Spider-Man which versus Godzilla or whatever you read over there. <laughs> Spider uh, dog versus God. Yeah. <laughs> well, I really have only, if any graphic novel, it's only been like Watchmen yeah. or like old Fantastic Four or some bullshit like that. You know. Well, it's funny is like I've been on a graphic novel kick and I've been like bragging to people, and it's literally just books with pictures. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's, it's like it's the most my brain can handle. Books, yeah. It's like okay, yeah, I can see the thing happening. Have so. you read uh, Kirk Goldsberry's books? I don't think so. He does the uh, all the shot charts, mm. and but he's like he just came out with a new book, but like there's um, there's a lot of pictures involved, oh, yeah. and it's kind of built like a coffee book too, yeah. so you can kind of come and go with nice. It. Basically, if you can't read, these books are perfect. I for love you. a picture book, yeah. man. Yeah, no, yeah. it's not if you can't read; it's if you can barely read. Right. <laughs> <laughs> read the I mean, room. Those, maybe those books are big. You can, and they have either. big words in them too. <laughs> He's a smart guy. Yeah. He is a smart guy. That's what I was just saying. Brain works. Brain works. Yeah, folks. It's well, scumber party. This, we're off to a hot start. <laughs> we're cooking with gas. Bu- June bug. June bug. June bug. Bong June ho. Bong June ho. Bong June bug. Bong June bug. Maybe that's July. Maybe that's what we do in hey, July. That's, that's good. July. Bong June ho movies about bugs. I love it. There's probably two. <laughs> Could you imagine? imagine Parasite? Three in a row. Yeah. Parasite, Parasite counts, technically. Yeah. Technically. Snowpiercer um, is actually, it does get in there. Because that's, yeah. remember they're all eating like the um, uh-huh. those bars. And then he goes to the back room and he like finds mm. out. 
that it's all made of bugs. And what's the monster movie he did? Hey, spoiler alert. So are the jelly beans. Okja. Not Okja. Okja. There's another the host. one. The, the, host. the host. I think that's yeah. a big old bug. Yeah, it's a bug. He's a bug guy. But that's not what you picked but, for no, your movie. No, I picked the quintessential bug movie. Come on. The quintessential bug movie. Come on. Um, the 1998 Disney and Pixar? Yep. Classic. A Bug's Life. I recently got in one of those like party debates where you're just shooting the shit with people, and they they tried telling me that Disney and Pixar didn't used to be the same company. And I was like, no, it's always been under the Disney umbrella. And they're like, no, no, Disney acquired Pixar in the late, and I was like, no. And then I rewatched Bug's Life, big old Disney thing in the beginning of the movie. So oh, there was. I think they might be right. What do you mean? Because the Toy Story, like, <laughs> I don't know if it's, it, it's pedantic. What do you mean, though? It's pedantic because I Did think you... all of the theatrical releases were Disney movies. Okay. But I want to say it independently was a company well, duh, that because it's like, Disney acquired. Or else why would it not just be called Disney? Right. right that's what I mean. I'm not saying that He's Pixar saying that wasn't its own, you know, company. Oh, yeah. It's all... You're talking about, like, Toy Story. You're saying, like, Bugs Life, Toy Story, all of these yeah. have Pixar always been is, Disney yeah, and Pixar. Yeah, every Pixar movie has been also a Disney movie. Exactly. Yeah. That was that's what I was arguing. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure, for sure. Or else why would it not just... Anyways, yeah. I picked Bugs Life. Oh, yeah, thanks. Classic. Hell yeah. Um, what party were you at? You were at a party without us? It was a great one, if you can tell by the conversation yeah, like, we were having. <laughs> if that's coming yeah. up. Disney Bunch adult party? dumbasses <laughs> not knowing that Disney and Pixar are under the same <laughs> umbrella. Bunch Easy. of boars. Yeah, you know. Routes. Oh, I'm so bummed we missed that one. Yeah, I sent Sounds an like invite a, real, a couple like, times, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, my bad. We, we, <laughs> Did you really? Nah. We threw that blue invite right in the trash. I was with my was brother and his wife, actually. <laughs> and, uh, if they're listening, they're very. It was a fun time. Oh, they're very <laughs> we were watching sweet. a basketball game. Oh, well. Anyways, um, <laughs> Bugs Life, great yeah, film. Love it. Love it. V- virtually no complaints. As I watched it, wait, what are you making that face for? No, no, no. I, I agree. As I watched it, I've not seen it since I was a small child. And I was like, wow, I remember all of this. I was like saying the lines with it. I must have watched it. I don't remember this, but I must have watched it frequently. Yeah. I've, this is not one I've revisited. Like I've seen like Toy Story a million times and Cars. Oh, my God. I think that's the movie I've seen more than any other movie in my life is Cars. You bring up Cars a lot on the show. Dude, I watched it every day for like five years. <laughs> it was you have no idea the influence Cars had on my life. Um, but this was great. Um, it's heartfelt. I was uh, immediately sad. <laughs> Anything bad happens to cute little bugs. I was immediately like, what the fuck? This is the worst. I was very stressed out for him. Turned out okay. Yeah. Was this right after you killed the cockroach? No, it was before. Literally oh. watched, the, watched them and then watched yeah. Bugs Life. And then as I'm going to sleep, it's midnight last night. I turn off my light, like my overhead light, and a bug flies out. The cockroach flies out, and I got so scared, and then I couldn't find it, and then I woke up this morning right by my bed on its back, and I was like, oh, God. Um, I think, uh, because I'm with you, I did not revisit this one, like, the way I would watch, like, Toy Story or even, like, The Incredibles and Ratatouille, like, all those, I'd watch, like, a million times, and I feel like Bugs Life, I did not, like, run it back a ton. Um, and watching it again, I was like picking up on the, it's like one of those things where I feel like I would have noticed maybe two, three years later, not putting together the food chain or like the kind of shakedown element of like the grasshoppers that Mm -hmm. they're just like basically like gangsters essentially. Like I did not put any of that together until I was like. Rewatching it. And, I also uh, didn't know that Kevin Spacey was the grasshopper. Oh, yeah. I, I thought it was picture. James Woods the whole time. I, it's yeah. Kevin Spacey. Yeah. Yeah. I and found I out like, yesterday and I was like, fuck, I wouldn't have picked this. If it, no, it makes him so much more easy. He's always the he, creepiest. It's one of the better voice performances it really in any good. of those yeah. Pixar movies. The whole time I'm like, he's so good. And, and then I looked it up, a, it was Kevin Spacey. I was like, shit. Everyone's good. He has in a. It. Yeah, yeah. In Bugs Julie Life. Louis. Julie oh, yeah, Louis. Julie Louis is awesome. Bonnie Hunt. Shout out to Dave Foley. Yeah, um, Dave Foley, kids in the hall. Kids in the hall. That that must have been the fattest check he ever got. <sighs> oh yeah, probably. Wait, in I can't remember what Kevin Spacey was accused of. I so many things. 
Uh, yeah. but I, I How much it, time you got? Yeah. Hey. He has a grasshopper on a leash in this one. Is that something he was? That was probably of? one of the things he was accused of. He probably wrote that into the script. Yeah. He went, oh, you should have a little, a little well, tiny grasshopper on a leash. Well, it's weird because they have like, yeah, they have like all the normal grasshoppers on a leash. Then they have one <laughs> rogue grasshopper that needs to be on a leash that's yeah. like barking. Um. Now in Louisiana, you put a grasshopper on a leash. I wanted Isn't that to where he's eat from? all and the snacks in, the, in that show. Yeah. yeah, in what show? House of, House cards. of cards. I've never seen it. Yeah, that's probably one that's weird to revisit. No, yeah. <laughs> What's it about? Is it about cards? No, he's like a politician, and he's re- really evil. That Boy. that is the thing. I will yeah, say this no about thanks. Kevin Spacey. Many of his roles. Don't, I don't want you to still, ever say. No, no, no. Here's the thing about Kevin Spacey. No, 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 no. In defense, no, of fuck Kevin, Kevin it's Spacey. Not, it's not in defense. I'm saying if you're watching a movie with Kevin Spacey in it, most of the time he's playing a freak. Oh yeah, and it it's not like he's the hero, and you're like, this doesn't make sense. No, he's playing a guy that you believe yeah. <laughs> did everything oh, that he did. Can I make a prediction? Hopper included. Can mm-hmm. I make a prediction? The Kevin sure. Spacey of the future. Not, I'm like, I guess what? I'm like accusing him of yeah, something what terrible. The fuck? But you know who I think is likely going to do something cr- weird and crazy? I would not be shocked. Barry Keoghan. Oh, sure. Oh, he is every. I don't know. But he wears it too much on I his sleeve. Agree with that. I feel like anytime they are just it's a too freak. Timid. Dude, he is always a freak and a half, and he's very good at yeah, it. Yeah, but the out, the out and proud freaks are never the ones that are like. Call, you know, Kevin Spacey did play a lot of freaks, but he is was he like Irish? beloved in the public eye. He was is like doing Keel impressions. And Irish? And uh, maybe. I, I think so. I trust. Yeah, yeah, I trust the Irish from more Dublin. than Yeah, than I bet American you do actors. trust the Irish, Danny. Than more, American actors? Yeah. For sure. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Okay, that's true. I have nothing against him. I just, every time I see him, I'm like, that's the, he's very strange. And all the. All the reports on set are like, he came up with this all by himself. <laughs> yeah. American Beauty was not about any of that stuff. That's another one. He's a freak yeah. in that movie. That was about a, just an office oh, job. And he went, American what Beauty. if he wants to bone the girl? <laughs> Have Wait, you seen- no, you're not. So he uh, made all this up? No. For- <laughs> <laughs> Have but you like, seen- when he pops up in seven, you're like, yeah, fucking yeah. course. Oh. Hey. Seven is crazy. Yeah. Have I seen what? You haven't seen Killing of a Sacred Deer. I have not. <gasps> Not a fan. Kyogen in that one really freaks me out. That's just a classic fucking, uh, what's his face? Anyways, I'm sorry, Barry Kyogen. I'm sure you're very nice. I don't think <laughs> so. But if he's not. I wouldn't want to hang out with him. Calling it. I feel like he'd eat bugs. He'd be like, <laughs> I'm going to eat this bug? I can't really do it. That Irish. was a good, that was pretty a good. I'm going to eat this? I can't do it. Uh, I can do Italians way better. Wait, <laughs> wait, wait, but did you do like an Italian, an Italian girlfriend? girlfriend? I'm going to eat this fucking bug if you don't call me back. <laughs> if you don't call me back, Richie, I'm going to eat this bug. Oh, man. Someone told me, because uh, it reminds me of Goodfellas. Someone told me that it's a real issue at uh, like some high schools that when like kids are caught with vapes their instinct is to flush them down the toilet yeah as if it's like cocaine or something and it just <laughs> will destroy the plumbing for like a day for real That's yeah because yeah. it's just a bunch of gooey yeah. goopy no no, no just it like does- a it's straight up like yeah. device. Yeah, yeah. That's like f- jammed, jammed in the, the pipes. God. <laughs> they should flush themselves God. down the toilets. <laughs> the youth is just going to hell in a hand. Yeah, I don't now. know. I, is it the youth or is it adults handing them candy flavored <laughs> nicotine yeah, might be part and going, of it. these kids, yeah. how dare they get addicted to the, one of the most addictive substances? Yeah, these in the delicious world. vapes. <laughs> yeah. Crushing wild berry. Yeah, or whatever. it's like Captain Crunch flavored vape. And we're yeah. like, oh, the kids. Imagine. Just yeah. like it's like who made that? Flushing and a walkie-talkie down the toilet. Yeah, dude, those. Okay, I will say. Kids this. about to shoot up the school. He's like, ah, oh, shit! Throws no, it down the, the toilet. <laughs> goes off in the toilet. <laughs> fucks the plumbing up. <laughs> yeah. Now that'd be funny. Yeah, that'd be no. a good. I bit. would let him off the hook if that. No. <laughs> dude, those vapes are looking crazy now. Though. Oh, man. They look like little tamagotchis. Oh, Have yeah. you seen them? They're getting bigger. I'm like, what stats do you need? And they're all disposable, quote, quote. You mm-hmm. just toss oh them in God. the trash. That is just, there's landfills <laughs> yeah. filled with them. Uh, it's fucking crazy. That's Dude, the have you seen the ones with the displays I'm talking about? So, some of them. No. They, they've like, had displays for a minute. No, they have like real, like it looks good. <laughs> Hang on. What's it called? What are we talking? Bugs Life. Bugs oh, yeah. Life. Um, <laughs> vape. Uh, we got. Displays. There's no way we're getting back to that one. Oh, there you go. Oh yeah. What's it called? 
I just typed in Geek Bar. Oh, oh Geek God. Bar. That's what it's called. Look at this. It's got like all sorts of. St- what are all these stats? <laughs> Look at all the numbers on there. Geek is it bar. giving your? I is hope, it giving your blood pressure? I really hope cigarettes just come back in style. Just yeah. smoke cigarettes, man. Just smoke fucking cigs. Those aren't kids. good for you. It's yeah. like four times Black the amount of nicotine. Black coffee cigarettes are the are the classic. Are you ever around someone? Oh man, you'll you won't. You'll never shit faster than what? a I'm black sorry. coffee and a cigarette oh, in the morning. I was like, is that nice. a threat? That used to, to be. That keeps you regular, you know? Yeah, yeah. They should put that on the that box, keep, but they won't. That keeps you honest. Yeah, keeps you honest. Uh, now, Bugs Life. Hey, Bugs Life. <laughs> I love this movie. I actually think this is, I have rewatched this. I think this is like the most rewatchable Pixar movie. It, it really? might not be the best, but it's like the one that like, if I'm just trying to have a good time and just watch a good big old popcorn movie, it's it's got the great Randy Newman score. It's got no one dies. No one dies. It's not the... as heavy as like some of the like the Finding Nemo yeah. on that Pixar started doing. No, that's it's... true. It was really like Bugs Life, Toy Story, right. um, uh, Cars, yeah. and Ratatouille were pretty light. Uh-huh. And then after, or I don't know if I've got the time. Finding Nemo Ooh. might be before Ratatouille Cars. was Nemo's in there. Before. But, uh, but then once Finding Nemo happened, it was mom died. Then it was toy like Toy Story Two was also sad. Yeah, like there yeah. was, and then they all when and then up was so, loves you, dude. That made me sob. But I was beautiful. Like, yeah. that song is so long in the movie too. It's like a five minute and song. And when you okay. were sad, <laughs> I was there to comfort you. Yeah, and when you were something. So when she <laughs> loved me. First Dude. two. <laughs> Take yes. it away. Yeah, that just, movie, that song so is so long in the movie, too. There's like a whole like, bridge. There's it's like, like a yeah, the yeah, doll like, like yeah. laying underneath the bed while you see the girl like dropping makeup on the floor and she's like, she's got makeup now. She doesn't want her doll. I was watching yeah. it like, Jesse, why don't you get that lasso and do something with it that, you Excuse know, me? I, why don't you yeah, hang you that s- lasso up somewhere? Yeah, You're bumming you, me out. Yeah, why don't you <laughs> sewer like, slide? Why don't, you, why don't you sewer slide <laughs> off that, on that lasso? I'm trying to get her to tie you up. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey. hey, if appropriately aged Jesse is listening, the toy... Tie me up, lady. It, he'll, he'll put a snake in your boot. Yeah. Uh, hey, there you go. There you go. But A Bug's Life is a timeless classic <laughs> for friends and family. Imagine people just listening to the show for the first time. They're like, oh, that's cute. They're doing A Bug's Life. We're just talking about. <laughs> uh, Having uh, sex with the toy. School shootings. and Yeah. The, yeah, you should have known before you entered here. Yeah. When's the last Pixar movie, like new one you guys saw? It's Coco. been a minute. Soul? I think it's Coco. Oh, I didn't see Soul. I didn't see Soul. Turning red. I didn't see Luca. I didn't see the. Is that the one where it's like Silencio Bruno? That's Encanto. No, I, that's not Encanto. Luca is uh, that. That's Italian. That's the Italian one. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. That's that's Luca. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then there's we don't talk about Bruno. That's Encanto. I haven't seen that. Really, kind of out. I haven't yeah. seen. Oh, it must have been Inside Out, the first one. Wow, that's going on ten years. Yeah, I, I saw. Oh, you know what? Toy Story 4. That was maybe the last well, one I saw. That was five years ago. Well, Ash, you saw Coco, though. Yeah, it did. That came out like 2017. That came out after Inside Out. Oh, okay, okay. So, yeah, that's that's probably the last Luke, great Luke, Pixar movie. Coco? Coco? Yeah, uh, I really... I thought Toy Story 4 was very good. Is that I like one of those movies before. where you're like... It yes. The spoon who keeps throwing himself. Yeah, in the trash. yeah. I like that. It's guy. one of those movies where it just sounds like it would be bad. Yeah. The name, like Toy Story Four, just sounds like a shitty movie. Right. There's no way it would be good, but it's really good. You're just like, why did you make? Okay, how did you good. make? This yeah, movie. yeah. You're just watching yeah. it, looking at Andy, going, why he kind of. <laughs> Why he kind of? Wait, like, hang on. How old is Andy in these movies? He's in college. Oh, so he's why he kinda. Yeah, I was just kidding. I don't why remember. he? Why he kind of a toy? <laughs> why he low key kind of a toy? Yeah, I, there's the story. I'll write his name on my damn boot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll put the D back. He's, he's got a friend in me. <laughs> I'm about to put a friend in him. <laughs> But A Bug's Life is a cherished, uh, it's a great film. <laughs> it's good. I like... Um, I like Flick. I like Dot. Uh, like, Dot. like Ada. They're too mean to Flick. I don't like how mean to Flick Dude, they're. it makes me Chill so out. sad. Yeah. We he's all just know inventing. Flick, though. We all know a guy who's inventing stuff, and he's getting yeah. in the way. And Who? You're like, oh, who's our Flick? 
I don't Who's know. Our Enzo? Because <laughs> he's, like, he's making stuff? Because he's telling stories. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's telling a few stories. <laughs> yeah. Usually about as long Enzo as a bug's life. Enzo might be, the, the way Enzo talks about his high school days, that might be Flick. Yeah. Oh. Was he Flick? He might have been Flick. If he's, he's always been inventing. Hmm. Uh, if I, my high school days, I feel like I was Sid. <laughs> you were Sid? You were Sid? Sid? You know when they had that baby head yeah. with the spider yeah. body? I tried to make that. I actually thought that the Sid toys looked kind of cool. They were so cool. I was cool. like, those are kind of badass. Remember the legs with yeah. the fishing pole? <laughs> yeah, I like the little baby head. Yeah, the little crawly baby Yeah, head. I tried to make that. Yeah, and the little dinosaur with the, the sexy lady legs. Sid is no, really No, it wasn't a dinosaur. Not... It was a fishing pole. Oh, yeah, you're right. And it was sexy lady legs and a fishing pole. It was yeah, like, perfect. Yeah, yeah. Sid, in retrospect, Finally. was not that bad of no. a kid. What? He was playing with fireworks? He just liked blowing shit up. And then these toys were like, fuck you. I there's, hope you die. There's literally the an end. exorcist reference. He like turns his head around yeah. and looks at him and is <laughs> yeah. like, next time, be nice. Yeah. Sir. He changes be his nice. voice. Yeah. He doesn't even talk like Tom Hanks. <laughs> I know this is You're not. You're not a space ranger. <laughs> That's pretty good. You. You are a toy. You <laughs> are a toy car. Yeah. You're a sad, strange little station wagon. That's from the end of Cars. Where the cars are acting like they're in Toy Story. Right, yeah. right. You remember? When I they... haven't watched it as many times as you. <laughs> still the best. <laughs> still the best Toy Story line is <laughs> when they're doing the when they're looking at all the presents Andy got, and he goes, "Uh, bed sheets. He got bed sheets. Who invited that? Kid? Yeah, <laughs> man. Toy Story's so good. <laughs> Who invited that? I would kid? put. I, would I wanted put to be Mrs. Life. Nesbitt for Halloween. I thought that'd be good. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, but it's kind of niche. Toy Story one is still it's the, the goat. The best, it's yeah. the goat. Ooh. It's just a great, and it's eighty minutes. It's yeah. just like such a it's streamlined. So this is one of the like, best movies ever. Ever. Yeah. It's a great Pizza story. Planet. Yeah, and it does the thing. So I think that Pixar started to lose me a little bit when they were like very proud of the fact that they're like we make something for kids that the adults can connect to. We're gonna make you so sad. They became really aware of that and started to kind of milk it too much. Like the first ten minutes of Up, I've never really liked because it just feels manipulative to I me. Think they still had it with Up, but but no, like to me the that's the, what I'm saying. They yeah, had yeah. it. They like did it too. They like were too self aware of their their popularity oh but i meant i i thought that they were still making like worthwhile movies when up came out and to me the ash what are you doing like the <laughs> i was singing the song from up oh uh, okay <laughs> the the kind of <laughs> downfall, having a conversation is all. <laughs> the downfall <laughs> of like pixar Sorry. like what we think thought of the brand yeah which was kind of yeah. bulletproof for like the entire 2000s and then like Basically, the mid 2010s is when everyone was like, eh, I don't know if we need this anymore, which is kind of the same. It's the what same time this? Disney bought Marvel. It's like right around when they're buying yeah. a Lucasfilm. And it's like, what it's year when did they're Up just come out? collecting properties and just fucking 2009. 2009. Okay, yeah. so that's, yeah, because I feel like that was the last big one. I feel like even Coco, not every. I feel like most Toy Story three, I think, I remember was when, the end of like the golden age. Yeah, you know, and then right. there's still good ones Toy after Story that. Toy Story three, yeah, that's when they were. That's that was that's when, right. That's, that's the one with the teddy bear. Yeah. Yes, all the Toy Stories have kind of blended together for me a little bit. Outside of the first one, the third and the fourth blend together, but I don't remember shit thing. about that fourth one except for the spoon. Yeah, Forky. I think it's a it's a Sporky. Sporky. Yeah, yeah. It's a spork. I think that Bugs Life is like. Really good. It really was the first time Pixar did like the world building thing really well mm -hmm. that you'd see like in later movies. Because like one? Toy Bugs Life. Because like oh, Toy yeah. Story, it was their second movie, you know. And like Toy Story, great, obviously, but it's pretty contained and like they had a lower budget for animation. Like, kind of had to work with what they had. Bugs Life, it's obviously aged like the animation, but it doesn't look super dated. It the looks animation good. still it looks, looks really good. good. I think it's like well, you know, animated. I feel right. like animation looks worse today. I never oh, saw yeah. Ants, which came out. Is there at a the Bugs Life 2? That time. looks terrible. That yeah. looks like a Nintendo 64 game or yeah. something. There was a Bugs Life 2. No. Is not, that not true? Not the These are all fake. There is a thing on that went around on YouTube that people thought was real, that they were making a live-action Bugs Life. <laughs> there was, like, a fake trailer, yeah. and it oh looked my God. so real. That would be terrible. Right down to, like, the... They do, like, the popular song, like, the dark <laughs> version of it. You know how trailers all yeah, do that? Yeah, yeah. It starts out, and it's like, out here in the field, field. It's like a dark version of... Uh, Babo Riley. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my And God. it's just, like, these super hyper-realistic animations of Bugs. Ew. And everyone was like, don't make this movie. Like, people <laughs> thought it was real. 
That is terrible. Dude, that's basically what those fucking Lion King movies yeah. are. God. They would do oh, something I hated, worse. I never saw the Lion King. They're making another the, one. Of what? I guess like some, pr- it's a prequel. Simba's Pride. Wait, about of- Mufasa. Get this. It's Barry Jenkins of Moonlight. <laughs> like that's. He's fun. Oh, what a fun director. I hope the check was fat, Barry. That's all I'm saying. What was the other one? that They, they did Jungle Book. They did Lion King. There was another one. Uh, I just hated all of those. Beauty and the Beast. They've oh, yeah, Beauty and the Beast. They did a, they've done so I many. I don't watch any Disney. Those, at least, the ones with actual humans make more sense than the ones with no humans at all. Yeah. Mm. Crazy. I don't know. They're all pretty ugly. Yeah, they all suck I ass. I hate it well, all Well, this has been a great discussion on the film Bugs Life. Uh, I mean, there's not much to say other it's than great. it's great. It's in my top four. I think this, Toy Story, Ratatouille, and Coco are my top four. Oh, it's Coco's good. in no. your top four. Yeah. Good picks. Probably Mon- Cars, Monsters, Inc. I really like Monsters Ratatouille. Monsters, Inc. is up there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Toy Story. Those are probably my four. Toy Story 1, Ratatouille. I didn't really Sheet love Up. Me. I like the music in Up. I don't what's like that, up. What's that like guy's up. name? The actor? No, no, no. The music guy. Gian Michael. Oh, G- oh. Giancino. Uh, Gian, yeah, that's it. Michael G- Giancino. Giancino, yes. yeah. He's done the music He's for a couple good. of them. I, and Nemo's not. Like, it's good. It's not my all time favorite. It's too thing. stressful. I, that's one I always feel like, can we just take it down a notch? Dude, it's like so like intense the whole time. The like, second one is really. Incredibles is fun. Yeah, too. that's oh, a fun Incredibles one. Is yeah. good. Wally. Wally's, Wally's great. S- Wally's sad. It's sad. Again, that's kind of when they were getting a little up their own butt. They a get a little like, emo. Like, yeah, like, yeah. They seem to have gotten more fun recently. Uh-huh. Although I just found out that that turning red one is about um, it's about a girl starting her period. Right. I, didn't, I did not know that. I, I mean, thought it was about a panda. Well, it is. It's about a panda on her period. <laughs> is that for real? I it mean, is pretty much. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh damn! I don't know. It's like you. a it's like an allegory for you know. Is Moana Pixar? No, that's it's that's, that's just that its Disney thing? animation. Yeah. That's good. I like Moana. Yeah, to yeah. me, it's to- Toy Story and Ratatouille are like top like tier, top, and then yeah, maybe Incredibles is I up like there. the part of Ratatouille where he eats a strawberry and a cheese at the same. Oh time. yeah, I love. I that rewatched part. Ratatouille recently, and that's like that one's almost just straight up like just kind of a movie for adults. I mean, it's obviously like kid friendly, but it's just like the the you know messages and the themes yeah. and like it's very just it's a beautiful movie. It's a beautiful movie. Yeah. It's when become the, just the, kind of a, a meme almost because right. of the like elements of, the of it. But head. yeah. Like it's yeah, so good. I think it's very nice. I yeah, like when the tasteful. food critic eats the ratatouille and then it goes back to him as a little boy. I cry every time it's I great. see that. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why. It, it's emotional without Peter being O'Toole. like annoyingly in your face heavy. You know, well, it's you, like still a fun time. Stuff and like, can be emotional without it being so sad. Right. And yeah, they got into a phrase where they were like, it's a Pixar movie. Yeah. What was that one? It's not Pixar. Um, oh God, it's like a big marshmallow nurse and a robot. Big oh, Hero 6. Big, yeah. big Hero 6. That movie has like the sweet, they like kind of, Disney started kind of like getting off on like killing a beloved character in the first five. Right. Because there was that, there's like a sweet big brother and little brother. And then he just, the older brother dies in a fire. Yeah. And I remember I took my brother who was like nine to go see it and he was like sobbing. Yeah. And I was like, this isn't fun for children. Why are they no, doing No, I don't know what it is where they're like, we're going to make you feel sadder They've than you've ever Bambi. felt. They've done that since Bambi. Yeah, oh, that's yeah, true. They've always done that. They, yeah. they get off on that. They get a rise out of that. Yeah, yeah. that's They're flicking up. their nipples when they're animating yeah. those scenes. They're animating it with Walt their nipples. Walt Disney's yeah, flicking his hands. They're carved. One hand. Yeah. Walt Disney's flicking his frozen nipples as we speak. Yeah. There okay, you go. Now, okay, now I'm getting... Hey, right, now we're getting a little... Now I'm thinking of Andy again. It's all coming back around. <laughs> why, why he gonna? Why yeah, he yeah. kind of? Why he kind of low-key a toy, though, that can talk? <laughs> <laughs> There's a story. <laughs> oh, we yeah. got, we're at 30 minutes. Oh. we got to kind of move gotta, on. Oh, yeah. This hey, is who's what? hungry? Yeah. I love how we talked about Bugs Life for 30 minutes and did not really... I don't think we unpacked it that They've much. They've seen it. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> It's fun. What hasn't been said? It's the time of your life, so live it well. Sometimes. Did you do the dramatic one? Uh, what's what's the dramatic? What, what? For the for the live uh, uh, live action bugs life. Oh. Out, here, out here in the field, <laughs> we fight for our meals. Sometimes, Speaking of meals. Sometimes when you're fighting for your meals and <laughs> flicking your nipples, you want a snack. You I know do. what I mean, Brandon? 
<laughs> and um, he said, "Yeah, yeah, I'm paying attention." <laughs> <and> my snack, <laughs> s'mores. Oh, okay. 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 When he said s'mores, I was like, "That's not a s'more." And it was very basic. Everyone dig in. All right. This is kind of cool. Now we can keep talking about Bugs Life. Yeah. There's not really much to unpack. Oh, he's got. There's like full crackers. In These this. are horrid, dude. Oh yeah. These are horrid. Wait, look at this. There's like full. Burnt crackers in this cookie. Listen, you know, I, I maybe should have mashed <laughs> them up a little that? bit. Here, give that. That's all Brandon right there. Yeah, this is you, ma'am. That is you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's, okay, Scummer Party ASMR. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> um. This is. Uh, yeah. Yeah, good. Okay. Is that some chocolate chip cookies that you put in there? Or? Chocolate chip cookies, a little cement, and um, <laughs> marshmallows and graham crackers. It's like, what if you just took good. a good cookie and then you made it kind of dusty in the middle? Because <laughs> the crackers just like there's just like a burnt cracker. Dude, this is low key dusty, honestly. <laughs> honestly, this is low key a dusty little toy. I'm sure there's a story there. <laughs> it's why horrible. He, why he kind of dusty? <laughs> Wait, why he kind of? Why are you kind of making a really bad cookie? <laughs> no, it's not really bad. Mm-hmm. Did you use pre-made dough? 100%. And then you just... Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what the I story's did. all there. Yeah. Murphy, you can do whatever you want for your story, bud. <laughs> I just want you to feel comfortable. It's pretty good. I mean, this is good, man. It's a thing. Mm-hmm. Good. good snack. It's a good snack. It is horrid as fuck, but <laughs> you're know. saying horrid with like an O. I'm from the Bay Area. Oh, I, I forgot you're from the <laughs> yeah, Bay yeah, Area. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that how they would say it? Don't they? E40. Yeah. E40 Murphy over here. Yeah, yeah. Horde. Horde. I make up its way outside forever like the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> <laughs> that woke he likes me up. To, he likes a round word. <laughs> yeah. He likes to round the words. Did you watch the concert? Mm hmm. I, li- I liked. E40's like narration throughout the whole thing. I thought that was cool. I don't think I watched that version. He so he did he was narrating the show from the beginning with the uh oh. openers. Okay. Yeah. I haven't watched it. It's great. It's really I kind of really just got good. the highlights from It's good. I mean our friend Eric. I like that black hippie got back together. It was very um, cool. Yeah. They play not like us like five nine times. Time, yeah. Five. Yeah, it feels like so much more than that too when Brought you watch Westbrook. Like, mm-hmm. Uh huh. Yeah, it's fun. It's crazy how much he's just going in, just just burying the casket, man. Good. It also feels like it's barely started because he's like going to put out the album, oh yeah, music videos and everything. Insane. We should have him on. Oh, we absolutely. Should, Kendrick Lamar. By yeah, the way. yeah. We should get, yeah. We I don't get, think we even said we should yeah. have Kendrick Lamar on the like show. Like they don't know who we're talking about. I mean, he's promoting his album. Why? Um, why wouldn't he come on here? This is a no-brainer for him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It would mm-hmm. really boost his. Mm-hmm. Oh, I wish his we had, height. Hopefully, I wish Small we had guy. burned so much of our Pixar material before he got here. Mm. I really wanted to talk to, to him about Ratatouille. I feel like he'd like Bugs Life. Be like, "Ooh, those bugs! <laughs> those little bugs always walking around." <laughs> you know, you know Kendrick how he raps. Yeah, little, just he, like that. when he does like the <laughs> no, do the more. voice. You know, <laughs> you know the one voice he's always doing. Do do more. Oh, I'm <laughs> just. <laughs> <laughs> a bu- he goes, a bug's life? <laughs> do, 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 do. I love a bug's life. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I All right. Yeah, Kendrick, you can just talk to us normal, dude. Yeah, you don't always oh, have to hide behind these voices. But It'd be, actually, I don't want to get the, the fucking hammer, dude. I'm scared just talking shit about him on the podcast. Like, you think this guy he's going to drop, yeah. drop a Murphy diss? That'd be so funny. <laughs> that would be so mean. <laughs> I'd be so, yeah. I'd be so sad. I do, I do feel like part awesome. of his. Um, <laughs> You'd go, okay, are we really? Well, yeah. God, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Drop like a Kendrick joke? Do like a joke track? <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think he'll do the podcast, and this is why. Woman um, on here. Yeah, well, so there's that. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. And, um, 
But I think like part of his mystique is that we don't hear him talk all that much. Mm -hmm. Like he doesn't do long podcasts. He barely uses social media. That's for the best, I would imagine. Oh, absolutely. I don't. Yeah. I don't. I, I don't imagine don't, he doesn't I, have the best opinions. Yeah, on everything. it's really a good move. He uh, just part. lets it all mm -hmm. like. That's yeah, the move for anyone on, to do today. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. shut Absolutely. the fuck up a little. Mm -hmm. 100%. Just write your weird thoughts in your diary and don't like tweet them. I feel or like he's basically write it within whatever like art you put out, you know? And people are like, well, it could be. Maybe. <laughs> Kendrick is just like if Kanye listened to his publicist always, you know? And he was just like, don't ever say anything. <sighs> yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? God. Like, don't say that thing. Yeah. He's like, sweet. And like, we all like him. Yeah, you know? yeah. We need to just give Kanye like a fake email address and be like if you have thoughts this yeah. is a reporter's email address now kanye might do the show <laughs> yeah, yeah I mean, he might actually, he might be down to scumber party i think at this we point. are more likely to have <laughs> kanye west on this show than kendrick lamar yeah yeah 100 no, sure, sure. <laughs> than e40 i mean we're a little more likely to have him on than some local comedians i know yeah, i was gonna say we might not even be able to get keith he'd, back on here yeah hey <laughs> <laughs> keith didn't agree he's a Huge fan of what's the Pixar movie we should? He's a huge fan of Turning Red. Yeah, he didn't like that we didn't watch it. I make up its weight outside forever, like the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> <laughs> what a fun thing to brag about! I'm gonna make you wait outside. Yeah. What are you doing? Are you getting ready, man? I'm doing the thing I hate most when comics yeah, break it's down. Bad. It's always bad. <laughs> Just every lyric of a rap song on stage. Okay, E40. So let's break that down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real quick. Forever? Yeah. She's waiting outside forever. Yeah. Fly go hard like geese erection. So, like, <laughs> so are you flying or are you hard? Because hard things would notoriously sink. Like, so, like, have you looked at a physics book? <laughs> it's a guy wearing a hoodie under, wearing flannel under a hoodie. You know, it's like one of those guys. <laughs> Keep it 300 like the Romans. Let's talk about that for a second. <laughs> um, I don't know if you saw that movie, Kanye. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. The best is when they pause afterwards, yeah. you know? They're just like, protect your neck. <clears throat> okay. Uh, you know, like, they're just, you're just supposed to be like, oh, here, like, go in on them, uh, white yeah. guy. Fucking go in. They didn't write these lyrics to be a little bit exaggerated or yeah. funny. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or funny. They meant them to be serious. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're right to inter... You're, this is how it's meant to be heard. Yeah. You, with you saying it into a microphone and then going, that doesn't really make perfect sense. It's like, yeah, fuck face. Just kind of like how you as a comedian never embellish a story. Ever. Yeah, yeah, Everything yeah. happened sure everything, exactly yeah. as you talk about it. So the same with rappers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whew. Boy. Good, but um, good Bugs snack. Life is a great. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 The snack. Bugs good. Life is a timeless is a classic. Great timeless <laughs> classic. Uh, but s'mores but sometimes cookies. When you and eat, sometimes when, when you. <laughs> sometimes when you have a cookie this kind of. Uh, why he kind of dusty, though? Why he kind of dusty, though? You want a juicy little Murph dog story. This story is going to be like a late period uh, Pixar movie. And I'm not talking turning red when I say late period. I'm hey. talking. <laughs> talking. <laughs> 2003 to 2010. Whoa. Okay. Kind of fucked up. Whoa. It's kind of wow. fucked up. It'll be a quick one, though. Were you going to reach for another cookie? No, no, no. Oh. Um, I, again, I'm on a diet and uh, get Plus right back sugar. on the horse after this. Yeah, hey. Turn to the side. Oh, yeah. We had oh. to get different music today because <gasps> our. Oh, my God. This is way scarier. <laughs> this feels like one of those, like. Feels like I'm in Gears of War. Yeah, this feels like out here in the fields. <laughs> Bugs Life trailer. My meals, yeah. yeah, yeah. Which is the game with the giant drill squid? Drill squid? You might be Bioshock. right on Bioshock. Damn, All right. The lights change? Yeah, I'm getting scared yeah. for real, dude. Okay, we haven't had a good story in a while, Murph. I think oh. we did used to do that, yeah. Oh, yeah, you can do that. That's cool. I, I mean, do you want to put the... No, no, no. That's... Oh, the lights. Oh, yeah, the lights yeah, were good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I like <laughs> the lights, man. Lights are down. Murphy, we haven't had a really strong story, and I'm ready. <laughs> okay. Well, really strong story, speaking of which, this story is about a move I did at my moving company once, Ooh. based on a true story. Um, and by that I mean this is company. this not Weinstein <laughs> Moving Company. We have changed it <laughs> to Weinstein. Harvey Weinstein <laughs> Moving Company. He sued us and somehow won. It's crazy. <laughs> No, uh, I'm not going to say the name of the company <laughs> I work for. It's not Weinstein Moving Company. <laughs> but Too this is based dick. on a nightmare I had about my job, to be more specific. Whoa. Whoa. So I get to the job site, okay? 3,200 square foot, two-story colonial home. Um, 
kind of out in the out in the Richie Rich, kind of like the Westlake area. Shit. Yeah. Kind of desolate, you know what I mean? We get there. It's me. It's three other guys. Two trucks. A lot of stuff. The lady comes out. She does this thing that a lot of like annoying white people do, where they go like, "Hope you had your Wheaties today." When they see you, I hate when they like say it's stuff be like, like that. Like you're working. Which is like the worst thing ever to be like. Today's gonna suck. Haha. <laughs> Are you moving them into this house or out of this? We're house? moving them out. Okay. So this is the first part of the day where we move their stuff out of the house. <sighs> Just hope you had your Wheaties today. Go okay. We do a walkthrough. This is what we typically do. We go through every room. She tells us what we're this taking. This is a nightmare, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I know this sounds awesome, but yeah. it gets worse. We're walking through every room of the house. We're looking at all the furniture we're taking. Okay? At one point, I come across a big standing mirror. I do my classic joke. I stand in front of it, and I go, this is a beautiful painting you have. Oh, that's good, dude. Gets a chuckle out of her. You know, keep it moving. We, uh, she's, <laughs> she's nice. She's offering us, you know, some waters and stuff. We get upstairs and she, we're in the last room of the house, which is like a little playroom in the corner of the upstairs. And then in that playroom, there's like a smaller door that goes to like a crawl space kind of situation. Fuck, dude. And she goes, whatever you do, do not <laughs> go in the crawl space. Oh, shit. Anyways, uh, you guys need waters? Uh, I'll get some sandwiches. She tips us 100 bucks each right out the gate. That's oh, sick. I so feel this like lady, that. I'm warming up to her. I feel like that doesn't happen often. Do doesn't you? happen often. She goes, there's more where that came from, she says. Oh, yeah. She you play you? your cards right. You play your cards right. You don't break anything. Yeah. No, not quite. Not no. quite there yet. That's a different dream I've had about the job. <laughs> yeah. We'll talk about that it's a next lot time. It's a nightmare. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a, a lot nightmare, quicker right. of a dream. It's kind of a nightmare when I wake up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty quick dream. It's a nightmare to clean up. I it imagine. would have been over already. Um, so we go, okay. <laughs> we go, all right, let's not go in the crawl space, right? We, we finish the load up, as it were. Takes us a few hours. Pretty typical move. Everything's in the truck. Nice. I'm upstairs. I'm just looking through every room to make sure we got everything. Uh-oh. All of a sudden, that crawl space is cracked open. Ooh. And I go, hello? No answer. Suddenly, beneath me, a rat runs towards the open crack in the crawl space. And it's scurrying around in there. It's like... You hear it scurrying around. All of a sudden, crack. Someone grabs it. Chomp. Someone takes a bite of the rat. Someone or something. something. Fuck me. All I know is that rat. Crunched. It, it didn't unalive itself. I'll say that. It didn't commit sewer slide? No, it didn't <laughs> commit sewer slide. Shit. I, I kind of, I go, hello, who's there? I can see just through the crack the decrepit bones of just beyond an elderly person. Just the oldest bones you've ever seen. I can't quite make out the figure. And uh, as it turns around, I open the crawl space fully. I step in. And then suddenly, it's the beginning of the day again. Oh. We're about to start our walkthrough. Oh, no. We go from room to room. She's offering us waters, kind of looking at everything. I go to the full-size mirror. I go, that's a nice painting you got. I look into the mirror. It, it's me as an old man. I knew it. I knew it was going to be him. And wouldn't you know it, later on, I'm upstairs. We're about to leave. Crawl space is cracked open slightly. Oh, shit. He's... Same rat. Goes by me. I think you know where this is going. You're, the, you're <laughs> eating the rat, dude. <laughs> it's me. It's him. It's me from the future who's been forced to do this move oh, thousands more. and thousands of times. And so oh now you're hungry, God. so you eat the rat. Have to subsist on nothing but the v the varmint and critters crawling throughout the house. I mean, she did offer you sandwiches at the beginning. She did, but not enough. And you turn it down every time. No, I don't turn it down. I mean, he's developed a taste for rat flesh. You want the rat? Yeah, I I don't <laughs> think that's you're not really getting what I was meant to. That's not what you're I was trying rat. to apply. <laughs> you no, turned into a rat. I don't like eating rats. I want to put the allegations to bed right now. 
<laughs> Anyways, that's a dream I had. I like. Was that really a dream you had? That's kind of vivid. I have. Yeah. I sometimes have dreams about just doing moves that just never end. Like they oh keep showing God. rooms that are just like. There's more stuff. There's more, and you're like, dude, it's just like, like we're just never gonna get done, which is. Tr- closer to the job some days. Yeah. Than oh my god, dude, that, that was really horrible. good. I, I liked that. this. Yeah, yeah. I was also very impressed that you were not reading off of anything. I, I just know, thought of it good. before. I was like, I'm just gonna f- talk about it because it's an actual nightmare. I feel like I've had before. The the image of the rat getting crunched. Crunch. Pretty vivid. Yeah. Pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Thanks. That was good, man. Wasn't very dusty. It wasn't a dusty. It kind of was though. That crawl space is pretty dusty. Oh. Kind of like those cookies. <laughs> oh, oh God, yeah. Why you well, kinda... it's time to vote. Since I'm snack, I vote first. And both of you <laughs> have insulted my snack and therefore me. But I must say, Murph, I really, um, I really liked the story. I, um, I liked that there were no notes. I liked that it was this... I like the concept of it. I thought it was honestly um, honestly a very scary thought, very scary premise. Thank you. I liked it. Um, Ash, I've got no beef. You got no bugs. bug beef? I've got no bug beef, but I just really like that story, so I, I think I might have to vote you hey, out. Hey, I respect it, dude. Yeah. I don't respect you. No, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know. <laughs> don't get no, 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 no. I know. I'm on the same. Can I go next? Yeah, I, was, I think it's you. I'm in the same boat. Um, I mean, I actually do have beef with your cookies. They are, <laughs> <laughs> they are dusty. I think there might be beef in the cookies. Yeah. Oh, no, a shit, tallow. Yeah, no. A little bit of tallow. <laughs> well, I just love that story. I thought Thanks. it was great. I thought it built tension. I thought it you crunched the rat, um, which yeah. I liked. Little Might be a little short film I could do. Yeah. It wouldn't be that yeah. hard. Just get four movers together. Just get the outline of an old man. Just keep... Um, Keep putting like dark circles and, yeah. and wrinkles and put some baby powder in your hair and do the move a couple times. Yeah. Get a hot lady to offer you some water. Now we're talking. Big. You got to put she butts in hotter seats. every yeah. time. Yeah. You got to put butts. I forgot to mention that. She gets hotter and hotter. Hi, Murphy. Yeah. <laughs> Her features get more pronounced <laughs> each and every time. Can you move? You got to move my chair. You got to move my credenza downstairs <laughs> before I cry. I'm going to cry myself to sleep if you don't. We're oh, kind of doing fucking... Sandler a little bit. I know, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you guys have gone where Italian girls' <laughs> girlfriends started oh, and ended. Scooby Dooby Dooby. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, Danny, you're out. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, Wait, no, no, no. Wait, you're no, not no, no, out. You're not it's out. It's my I mean, decision. Yeah. Okay. No, I. I hey. think I vote Ashley out. I'm sorry. Wait, the cookies the weren't that bad. I Whoa. mean, like you made God. a snack. I like a bug's life, but I think... I want to just go on the record and say one thing. Murphy made me pick a bug's life. Oh! <laughs> and then he voted me out. Um, but, you know, we got to switch it up sometimes. Yeah, yeah. I'll get right on out of here. All right. Okay. Thank you. Wow. Usually that happens promptly. Quicker. Quicker. Okay, there we go. All right. Nut. I, I have I have something. Okay. Um... And and Brandon, you can get in chlamydia. on this too. It is chlamydia, but um, <laughs> tomorrow is the NBA draft. But I'm thinking that something's gonna go down this week, trade wise. Oh yeah. What do you guys think? What do you guys think might happen? In All the right. Next well, seven days. This will already be um, irrelevant by the time the episode comes out. But let's. Let's put our you money think, on something. Well, yeah, I mean, it's probably already happened at this point, but we can try and get there first. This is June 25th, so... June 25th. Um, I think... I don't know. I think that I would like to see Trey on the Spurs, and I don't know how that happens, but I feel like the Hawks work something with the draft pick, and they they get him on the Spurs somehow. Cool. I don't really know how that worked, but... Uh, like the Lakers draft Bronny Jr., but mm-hmm. then LeBron just kind of like consumes him to become younger again and they become one. Oh, <laughs> and then I like just that. one player. I've been hearing rumors of that on like Twitter and shit. <laughs> I like that a lot. Yeah. Um I was gonna say Paul George to the Warriors. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, he kinda like he, uh, he really outdid you there. Yeah, yeah, I I got first. <laughs> yeah that was but, great. Um, I heard because I've heard Paul George to the Warriors and I'm like, that makes so much fun. Absolutely. Sense. 
make that happen. They should consider. They should definitely. I think they should get rid of Clay, and they should maybe even consider getting rid of Draymond and just get Steph the people he needs. Get the dysfunction out of Paul there. Paul George and Curry just sounds it's awesome. Great. I mean, Jimmy and Curry sounds awesome, dude. Sounds, I would hate it because I Jimmy hate the, and Jimmy and Draymond just sounds too messy. Well, I, I, if Draymond's not on the team and you get Butler and Curry like in like a it championship fun, run, I, I don't know. I think Paul George would be the better version of what you're talking about. There, I think Butler to the Sixers makes more sense, and yeah. then George to like the Warriors. That's yeah, that one makes more sense. Yeah, maybe Oklahoma City too would be kind of cool. Yeah, Butler but, to Oklahoma City? No, you? Paul George to Oklahoma City. Back to Oklahoma City. That'd be kind of fun. I'd like to see uh, KD go back to OKC. Yes, yes, that would be cool. I think they just need like OKC just needs more size. I loved the Caruso trade. Yeah, I loved it. Oh yeah, it was so good. I don't man. Sorry, to be it's gotta bigger. be tough to be a Chicago fan. Oh, the most likable player on your team, you trade for a pedophile. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like they haven't made a trade in like three seasons, and the first one they do, they're like, "Welcome in the pedophile from New Zealand." <laughs> Goodbye, everyone's favorite player. Literally the oh, most likable shit. player in the NBA. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. Well, um. You can follow this pedophile. No, <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> Shut up, underscore Murphy. <laughs> you can follow this bald fuck at uh, Danny W. Goodwin. Don't be mean to each other. He called me a pedophile. Yeah, and I'm the bald fuck. He's not it's, even it's bald. Giddy it's not fair. Danny's not bald. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So shut up. And uh, Brandon? I'll, I'll use my plug to ask for another cookie. Those <laughs> things are great. I didn't like the slander you Whoa! got. Whoa! <laughs> there we like go. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Hell yes. Yeah. All right. Woo. And uh, comedy frequency at Scumber Party. Comment on the videos. That's Please. It. Bye. Scumber Party.